Hey guys, welcome to Beyond Examination. I'm Tom, and today I have a video that's kind of different than anything I've ever done before. It's a collection of products from uh, recent that I really like. Um, the reason I'm doing this kind of strange video where everything's piled together is, well, for a few reasons. One, these are items that don't really warrant one of my long, in-depth reviews on their own. And two, there is, I go through a lot of tech a year, and I do find things that I really like, but the problem being is, there just isn't time in the day to do multiple videos like that. So, you know, this is a great way to show you guys some really great products that I love, and get it all done at once. Um, there will be some things you'll see in the background, like my computer setup. I will be doing a YouTube setup kind of video. It was going to be, how, where's my, uh, uh, how's my desk looking kind of thing. But, I'm going to go ahead and do that as my YouTube setup, show you everything that I do and all the equipment I use and include the computer and stuff you might see in the background on that video. But to get started with this, uh, I want to get out of the way probably the most expensive item in this roundup. It is budget compared to other items in its category, but compared to everything else and you know just in real world money, it is a bit pricey. And that item would be these Audio Tecana headphones. They are the MTH M50X. They're probably the uh, top of the line of that line. They have cheaper models, but I wanted to get the best uh, sort of headphones after having the LG V20. Um, if you don't know, the LG V20 had a very great DAC in it, and you know I'm not a guy that listens to a lot of music anymore, but when I had that phone, it really opened my eyes back to music. I just wasn't hearing it you know, the way it should be. We're now a generation that listens to all our music through our cell phones, so to have that high quality DAC it was amazing and I wanted headphones that could keep up with that too and everybody online if you look at YouTube they talk about these headphones so let's take a look at them now there's a few different uh, audio tech on uh, headphone sets out there for all different price ranges this is pretty much the top of the line one they make right now and what you get with it is this nice leather or faux leather I'm not sure uh, carrying case the awesome headset itself this smaller cord, which is about the length of your regular earbud cord, so it's great for on the go. Um, these are also interchangeable cords, so if they damage or you need different situations, you just turn to unlock and pull them out like so, and then put them back in and lock. So, and another great thing about this is the ear cups, they rotate. I have a, a Skull Candy Hesh 2 and they choke you when you put them around your neck because there is no give and there is no move. This at least you can lay flat and they can also fold up to pack into your bag better or your case. Um, I love that. A lot of headphones, over the ear headphones, don't even do this anymore. So, great there and it's available on this, uh, as you see, ATH, ATH M50X version. Um, so that that's great um, and it comes with extra cables this is an extra long one I'm not sure how long because I haven't taken it out but it is long and then this more professional kind of like plug it into amplifiers or or your studio mixing because these are monitors that are meant for the studio but because they're so high quality for studio work they work fantastic for personal use great for if you have to travel on the bus and you don't want to hear everybody around you or you just want to hear your music better um, you may listen to the stuff first time ago there isn't enough bass here but what you're really hearing is everything and you'll learn that that there's parts of songs that you didn't realize were there because other headphones compensate by just blasting you with bass um, also if you could somehow damage all your cords and you're down to this last one, um, don't don't fear because this actually screws off and can fit right into your regular uh, cell phone jack, headphone jack. So, I mean, I've been really happy with it. I mean, everybody, you know, all the big reviewers and stuff have pretty much weighed in and said this these guys are fine company and I, I have to agree quality wise too is great stitching you know that was the big problem I had with the skull candy is the loose stitching and stuff so all around gray headphones great sound they're light um your ears are going to get hot after a while because they are this style but um I mean it takes a while to get there so I mean really great great for travel great great all around so I, I gotta really say uh pricey um, try to find a sale if you can, but I mean, 
I I was never the guy who would go, okay, I, I need uh, an expensive pair of headphones. But it is worth it. Like I said, I, I used to drive to work in my car in, in complete silence like a psychopath because, you know, music just wasn't doing it for me anymore. But, um, you know, after I had the V20 and I was starting to hear music like it should be with all the lows and highs and everything, I really became an audiophile. Um, so if you have the money or something, check it out. If these are on this, I don't know if these are on display anywhere, but that'd be a great way to check them out. But I mean, really awesome headphones. Now they change gears real quick here, guys. And, um, if you've seen uh, recent videos of mine, I did one on Smart Plug Evolved, a new kind of smart plug from uh, Light Edge Torch Star. Um, it's a really nice plug because it fits in small spaces. But the whole thing is surge protectors aren't very smart plug friendly. Um, so you kind of run out of space. It just causes all kinds of trouble. And that's where the Light Edge Smart Surge Protector comes in. It's become one of my favorite things to use in my backup room where I keep some electronics. It's uh, real neat. We'll take a look at it here. First thing I'd like to say about the, uh, the, the Surge Protector is the user manual is a lot easier to understand. It might be just my imagination, but the Light Edge manual for the Smart Plugs, I don't know if it was misspellings or, or, or just lost in translation stuff. But, I mean, this was a lot easier to follow, so that was nice. Um, what you have here is your two USB ports, so you can plug right in, no need for your wall adapter. Two always on, meaning they, they function just as a regular surge protector would. And one smart one. Um, what you would do is go into the Smart Life app. And once inside your Smart Life app, you can see my other two plugs here, you'll find... That, that you would go through the pairing process. It's the same pretty much across the board for all smart devices. And when you're in it, once it is actually up and running, it has one big button that you can remotely turn this one on and off. And it also has um, Amazon Echo uh, controls, so you can control it just like the the plugs with your voice through your Alexa. I do I do like it, and it feels nice too. It's a nice quality. Uh, I just wish. All the plugs were smart plugs. Um, I know that's asking a lot, but it would make this perfect if all the plugs were smart plug control. We're really, at the moment, this one is, and these guys just function as any other uh, power strip would. Um, still, really like it. I use it every day, and uh, it, it's a great product. On the subject of power, uh, what do you do when there is no power? Uh, whether it be like a state of emergency like we have with Superstorm Sandy, you know, any kind of situation where you are without power but you need to charge something. And it could even be for lighthearted reasons like you're just at the beach or the park and you need some way to charge your things. That's where the aux key solar charger comes in. I originally got one of these and it really didn't work well uh, after leaving some reviews um, on an, I am an Amazon about it. They actually reached out and wanted me to try it again, sent me another one, and I'm glad they did because it's awesome. Take a look at it here. Like I said, the first one I had just didn't charge. I had two different phones, an SA Plus and a track phone hooked up to this guy on a super sunny day. I mean, so hot that it was making the phones themselves overheat, so I had to put the phones in shade, but it was not even charging. And once Oxkey heard that, they couldn't contact me faster and offer to send me another one. And like I said, I'm glad they did. I tested it out with the LG V20 in afternoon sun, which you know is not that strong, and it was charging it great. Um, so we'll take a look at it real quick. It comes in this, looks like a carrying case, but this is the actual unit. Um, you open it up like so, and you have your solar cells. Um, cool little feature is there's a little grommet up here that you can go ahead and hook up to your book bag. So if you're at a convention outside or a festival or something, you can actually charge on the go because it's hanging off your book bag. But if you want to use it like normal, you just lay it flat like so. Or if you need to angle it towards the sun, it has these little flaps that you can go ahead and kickstand out so that it's more angled towards the sun. Here we have the outputs, uh, 5 volt, 2.4 amp max. Um, like I said, I don't know really technical specs of these kinds of things, but it charged. It was charging it at a very good rate. Uh, right under this kickstand is where you would plug in your cords. You would just take whatever cord extra you have around with you. You could keep it in here and plug it into this section here. I suggest... Uh, I don't know if this is sacrilege mixing the products, but the anchor power line cords. Um, these are great 
durable cords. Um, this is a I think six foot, and it's got that braided braided cord to it. Awesome. I mean, I use these when my surge protector is really far away, or if I'm on the go and I have a power bank in my uh, backpack. This will reach from my backpack to me. It's just you can't have enough of these. So you plug them into the side and you charge from there and it works great. In the same sense of the word, there is a product that I have that goes perfect with this. And that would be the Aux Key 1200 milliamp power bank. Um, it was great because it was super cheap. It's made by the same company that makes the solar charger and it just plain works. A um, little gripe with it is the, the way you're telling the power is through the actual name up here. You press the button and if it's green it means it's full and there's two other colors to you know give you an idea of what the percentage is. You never really have a good idea until you know it's empty. But it's got, I mean at 1200 milliamps that's a few cell phone charges. That's great. Like I said it was a great price. You could do uh, two at once. I just you know I, I like to you could set this out and have this charge during the day. Um, if you want you could probably even set this up in a window and have it charge the battery pack while you're away. Um, it's just nice to have this, especially, especially emergency preparedness. You know, there are times when you will be out of power and you might be out of power for a while, so it's just nice to have. And also this has a little uh, flashlight on it. Let's get it on. And it is really crappy. <laughs> I'll be honest here, it's not going to do much. Maybe I help you find your keys if you drop them, but it's just, you know, there for shits and giggles. Um, I kind of mentioned emergency preparedness. If you want to say, uh, oh, this would be perfect for a go bag if you're the kind of person who thinks the zombie apocalypse is coming. Um, it is. I mean, it could be great for your, uh, you know, emergency supplies. You pack that in there, put your power port, put your cord. Um, another item that kind of plays right into that whole idea of being prepared is this anchor flashlight. Um, and man am I blown away. I was just talking about the anchor power cords and how great quality they are. I've had anchored uh, wireless charging pads that are great. Anchor is like one of my my favorite companies of all time. Um, this is the LC130 flashlight. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, 1300 lumen output, six hour rechargeable battery. That is something that is really awesome because you could charge this because you can charge this on USB and that's how you're supposed to charge this you take off the cap and in there you have your USB port and a little indicator light so you could actually charge this from your solar panel it'll be super slow but there you go you would have light in emergency situations to be perfect for you inside a, a go bag or emergency bag and I've never had a flash like this bright at 1300 lumens you're talking about the power of a headlight inside of a flashlight and at six six hours uh you're not going to get that at the high setting there is a high low medium and strobe setting uh but you're i mean that's unheard of uh i love this flashlight and uh i will show you versus a regular railvac flashlight that i got at walmart i will be uh testing out strobe feature on this flashlight so if you are prone to epileptic seizures or things of the like Please skip the next two, three minutes of this video. I don't want anybody having an episode. Unsure of the actual lumen on this flashlight. I know when I bought it, it was advertised as being really bright. And I mean, size compared, it's a beefy flashlight. Um, I want to say it was 900 when I got it because I remember going, wow, that's high. So this is a really heavy duty, fresh batteries in it. And I'll go ahead and turn off the lights and I'll shine one at the wall and then the other one. And you're going to see uh, really the difference here. This room isn't completely dark. It's daytime. So um, it's going to be a little skewed. But here is the Rayovac flashlight. And it's not bad. I mean, it really lights up the room. And it has a really wide, uh, wide angle on that. But you go ahead and turn that on. And turn on the anchor. And you could see just how bright white this is. It really, it's completely different. Go ahead and turn it off again. There's the Rayovac, and then boom. Look at that, that is that is bright. And you know, this might sound funny, but this is kind of good for self-defense. Say you're walking the dog and somebody comes up and tries to mug you, you can shine this in their eyes and they are going to be effed up for a few seconds. So, and like the settings, you have to click through like that. That would mess somebody up. 
and there you go. Um, hopefully you don't have epileptic seizures. Um, but that is really just an insane light. Uh, I, I, I'm super happy with it. And the fact that it's rechargeable, so you don't have to worry about having extra batteries leaking all over your desk drawer. It's just awesome. Use it once in a while, top it up on the, the USB port. Um, if you can, use a cell phone charger. Charging off of the USB port of your computer took forever. So just do it off of a phone charger if you can spare it. You know, I, I mentioned it a few times how this would be great for emergency preparedness. I just uh, thought of something that would be a nice little tip for people that do go that route, and that's your cell phone. Now, even if your cell phone doesn't have service during an emergency event, storm, whatever, um, it can still be useful. Um, some phones have an FM chip that is unlocked and can be used. So you can actually use your phone to get FM stations, which is great because a lot of people don't even have normal radios anymore and it's a great way to keep in touch with you know information um, to see if you actually have an FM chip in your phone what you're going to want to do is go to the Play Store and look for Next Radio go ahead and install that installed and opened you'll see if your phone actually can um, this is not currently supported so it doesn't have an uh, uh, FM chip or the FM chip is locked um, but if you do get this and it does say oh yeah you you have an FM chip we're good to go um, what you'll need is a pair of earbuds. I have a cheap pair I just keep in my bag. And what, th what that is, is not actually for listening, is it says when it's plugged in that your earbuds will act as an antenna, which is kind of cool. But then you will have access to FM radio so you can hear emergency alerts and things of the like. So that's a neat little tip I thought. Oxkey Anchor, I really do love their products and I, I do trust them. Um, I think Anchor is a former Google employee, or maybe Microsoft, one of the two. So, the guy knows what he's doing, and it, and it shows great products. Now, we're kind of on a roll with the aux key uh, accessories, because my other item here I have is an aux key Bluetooth speaker. This guy is waterproof, water protected. It's splash proof, you know. You can take it in the shower, but don't throw it in the pool. It's got nice rubberized edges. All together, this is just... A fantastic speaker it's what you want your Bluetooth speaker to be um, a lot of times you take them to you know you take them out with you like you would a portable speaker but they're not designed to take a fall you know you put your cell phone in a case but your Bluetooth speaker is better on a shelf where you know it's not portable so you know that not only is this you know really great at you know taking a taking a drop taking a splash it's good at, at the sound. Uh, usually when you have something like this, it's good at being protected, but it's got crap sound. But we're gonna, I'm gonna try to show you right here how good this actually sounds. So besides being rugged, durable, and looking pretty sharp, it does perform in the audio uh, availability. Uh, besides looking really neat and being able to take a beating, it is a, an awesome speaker, like I said. I'm going to test it out on some royalty-free music so I don't get my ass sued. So you can see that already got pretty loud and I'm going to take it to its loudest. Some people say it gets muddled at that point, but I mean, the fact that it's able to output this sound, I, I, I think this is fantastic. So, I have no complaints about this speaker. It has like a ridiculous uh, battery life too, I forget the claim, but um, it will last you through any event you probably have, and just remember to charge it afterwards. It also has that dusk jacket here, uh, dusk jacket, I might say, uh, which I can't get off right now because I have no nails. Believe me, there's a USB port behind there. It's waterproof, water-ish proof. You can hang it from the carboner, but I mean, this thing is like two pounds, so I don't know if you want it hanging from anything. But uh, yeah, super happy with this. Very awesome speaker from Oxkey. Oxkey, again, is another company I just kind of recently found this year, and I am happy with everything I've gotten from them. Now, last thing I'm going to cover today is something computer related. I know before I said that the video is not gonna be about the computer, that'll be during the setup video, 
but I would be remiss not to talk about the Red Dragon keyboard and mouse combination I've gotten. Um, it's just great. Um, it's a company I'd never heard of before, and I took a chance on. I did not want to spend Razer accessory amounts on, you know, getting my setup going. And these look like a good option, and I'm really happy I did, so let's take a look. Here we are at the final product, uh, Red Dragon. Uh, I recently got my Asus Republic of Gamers laptop to edit my video. I shoot in 4K and then, you know, render it down to 1080p to get the best crispest video I can for my connection speed to upload, and like yada yada yada. But after a while, I'm like, I have a gaming PC, I should at least try to play some games on it. So I went out, got a decent monitor, and then I did not want to keep on spending a ton of money, and Razer, you know, Razer, the computer accessory company, is just insanely priced. So um, I found Red Dragon on Amazon, had some good reviews, and I took a leap on it. I have their mechanical keyboard and their mouse, and I'm super happy, I mean, I've only played uh, Doom so far on my computer, but this has worked perfect for all of that. Um, I've never had a mechanical keyboard, but this is so satisfying that it's just such a satisfying clicky feel to it. And what's really nice is how it looks when the lights are off, because this is a uh, red and this is can be set to red and the rest of my setup is red, so it really looks kind of neat. So I'll go ahead and turn off the lights here. So as you can see, that that's really nice. They they have a great glow to it. It is customizable through key commands. The mouse has an awesome glow from all angles. Um, mouse pad is uh, not a dragon. I forget what company it is. I could always post it later if someone's interested. But it just the entire setup goes so well together. Um, I also have a light in the back here too that lights up behind the monitor. So it's really like. I call it rage mode here and it's just a really great setup and like I'm really happy with the quality. It's like a quarter of the price of the, the major competitors but I've noticed no difference. The, this is called the Mammoth Mouse and it's fantastic. I mean it's big enough for my hand. The only problem I have is I don't know why but I'm always accidentally hitting the uh, right button. Um, I don't know why. But it has a, a program that actually you can customize the DPI, the light, everything about this mouse on the computer. Uh, it came with a mini CD. I don't have an optical drive on my computer, but it's all available on their website. And it really gives you a lot of customization. And there's even a thing at the bottom here where you can take out and do the, um, there's weights. I don't really notice much of a difference, but if you're an extreme gamer like that, maybe you do. But I mean, for the price, I don't remember what I paid, but you can look it up on Amazon right now and see that Red Dragon is competitively priced and I've had not a single problem with it. Really fun stuff. Um, and it was a great way to get into PC gaming. And believe me, I'm starting to get one over to that side. I'm still a console player, but PC gaming is smooth as hell. So it's real nice. I also want to you know, touch on, guys, that a lot of these companies you're hearing about in this video aren't big conglomerates. They're not the Sony, Samsung, Apple companies. Um, Anchor is probably the most famous of them. But they weren't that famous a few years ago because they were just a startup. And what they're doing is they're making the stuff that the big guys make, but the big guys don't really care about quality and stuff like that. So they'll make their chargers, make their accessories, slap their name on it, and charge an exuberant amount. Then there's companies like this that are thirsty and want that you know customer satisfaction, that loyalty. They make a quality product at very competitive prices. And Anchor, Oxkey, Red Dragon, all of the co companies you'll see in this video, they, they stepped up and delivered that. Um, you might be saying this is buying Chinese goods and if you're of the old mentality, that is not good or American. Honestly guys, most of your American goods are made or come from China in some way. Um, you know, I, if you can buy American, of course do it. We, we want to help out our own country. But it's uh, kind of ignorant to think that just by buying a few things that are made in China that you're now a communist or something. That's how the world economy is now. Uh, there's people that work for these companies in the U.S. So if it makes you feel better, you're helping them out with a job. But really, th they're quality products and there's stigma of, oh, it's Chinese crap. It's, you know, it's just going to fall apart. That's, that's 
almost non-existent. Not that there are any companies out there, you'll see them on Amazon, that, you know, they paste things together and as soon as you touch them, they fall to pieces. But these companies make some real quality products. And just recently I saw an uh, article on Forbes where they were saying that a company like Anchor is doing products better than, you know, Apple, beating Samsung at their own game. And it's true. I mean, really, they do care about it. And I've had instances where I had to contact nearly all of these companies through Amazon, um, you know, leaving ratings, and instantly there was a response and wanting to know how they could help. You try doing that with the big guys. You will never get a response. Even your regular brick-and-mortar stores now, you walk in and you're kind of looked at like, yeah, what do you expect us to do? So that's kind of why, you know, it's sad, but Amazon and other online stores are killing the retail industry because they're willing to go above and beyond, you know, for that star rating and for that customer satisfaction. So, you know, it is what it is, but it's really exciting time. And, you know, it, I, I implore you guys to look at reviews because just because it is a name you've never maybe heard of, like Oxkey, doesn't mean it's bad. It could be really good. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. That's some of my favorite tech from the year. I'm sure there's more to come. Uh, Prime Day for Amazon is right on Monday, and I have a lot of plans on things I want to get, so I'm not going to be running out of video material anytime soon. I also have a wireless Bluetooth uh, 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 headphones to do, so lots of videos still to come. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at edgelimited13. It is a great way to know what I'm going to review, all the kind of fun stuff I do. It's all on there. Um, another great way to know what's coming up is to subscribe to my channel, Beyond Examination. It helps. What really helps is the views. Thumbs up, like my videos, share with your friends. Um, every little bit helps. I know a lot of YouTubers you know, they say that at the end of every video and it gets to a point where it just goes over everybody's head. But really, it helps out and, you know, it makes me want to keep on doing videos and, you know. So, again, thanks guys for watching and I will talk to you all later.